so friends here i am with another revision question and uh, this is a question you can see so the reaction involves two steps the first step it is treated with a uh, trifluoroacetic anhydride and uh, triethylamine so both reagents are given and in the second step this is basically the ozonolysis reaction so you have to predict uh, what will be the reaction now the reaction is a little bit tricky because you have to know that uh, what is the role of this trifluoroacetic anhydride here is exactly so uh, if i write down the structure of that you can see this is the structure of trifluoroacetic anhydride right so somehow it is going to react with the reagent uh, with our starting material and uh, if you look at this product so first of all if you look at the second step there is ozonolysis reaction for the ozonolysis reaction you need a double bond but in your uh, in your starting material you have only a benzene ring which is not going to take part in the ozonolysis reaction as you can see in all four products the benzene ring is intact and it is difficult to do ozonolysis reaction of a benzene ring rather you have to think about a double bond or a pi bond uh, in the other part of the molecule but you can see in this part of the molecule there is only this carbonyl group so there is no cc double bond which can undergo the the ozonolysis reaction so this indicates that in the first step somehow there is going to generate a, a cc double bond now how it can be generated so if you look at these two that the starting material and this trifluoroacetic anhydride so one thing can happen is this oxygen lone pair it can attack over here and that will uh, that will result that this uh, o o c o c f 3 min uh, minus this will leave as a leaving group so you will get so this aromatic ring is as it is here you have this ome group here you have another ome group and in this part you have this now okay so this thing you are getting and this is going as leaving group so you have this o minus co cf3 CF3. so this is the leaving group and you are getting this so here you will have a positive charge now think that up to this we didn't use this uh, triethylamine so there should be a use of triethylamine because it is given in the reaction medium so now what triethylamine can do so it is basically a base now here as this positive charge is induced over here this proton become very much acidic and this triethylamine it can take this proton to form this enolate so basically you are forming this enolate co o cf3 and this so actually here we had a methyl group so you can see you are forming this enolate right so this enolate is formed now we have the double bond the cc double bond so this is the product of the first step now in the second step it will undergo the um, ozonolysis reaction and you know in this condition o3 di dimethyl sulfide if you have a double bond it will form two keto groups right so if you don't know the mechanism uh, you can watch my another video dedicated to this ozonolysis reaction the reaction uh, here uh, there I, uh, I discussed ozonolysis reaction in detail you can watch that but here you should know that if you do ozonolysis on this what you are going to get is you are get, going to get one carbonyl group over here and uh, another carbonyl group over uh, this side so here you are going to get this right so this is the thing you are going to get now very easy so you can see this is again an anhydride part so you can if, if you look carefully this is basically anhydride part right so you have one carbonyl here and this another carbonyl there and it is linked with the oxygen so it is basically an anhydride 
and this oxygen lone pair it can attack over this anhydride intramolecularly so that after that attack this pi bond will be open it will be closed and this will go as leaving group so here you are going to get so this benzene ring is as it is but on this side you are going to get uh, sorry this oxygen will be here right so this you are going to get this but here you have this positive charge and now finally here you have this proton so this proton will go it will go there so you can get this product b so from here you can get this product b so this is the mechanism of this reaction so basically the clue is you have this uh, you, you have to do ozone lysis reaction and for that you need uh, need the double bond so you can generate the double bond by forming this uh, by doing this enolization reaction so that is the clue and then if you just look at the product you can easily guess that this is going to attack over here so there is no other possibility of forming these three products so only product b can be formed here so that's all i hope that uh, you understood the concept behind this question and uh, you will be able to solve any other question of this type so that's all thank you for watching and have a good day